we are waiting for an interstellar journey with you. Today we will look into the future where a unique expedition is sent for a long 10,000 days to the very Tau Ceti. But first, a little digression. To study the final station where our starship will arrive. The Tau Ceti system enters our nearest stellar environment and the light of the sun reaches it in 12 years. This system ranks third in distance from the solar system, second only to Alpha Centauri at a distance of 4.3 light years and Epsilon Eridani at a distance of 10,005 tenths of light years. But Staukitanos is 11.9 light years apart. Earth, by the way, it is visible to the naked eye in the southern hemisphere in the constellation of the whale. The star is slightly smaller than the sun in size, relatively stable, with slight fluctuations in brightness. Its spectrum shows low metallicity and, therefore, the presence of giant planets is unlikely in this planetary system. According to the results of the search for exoplanets, for planets with orbital periods of 20, 49, 168 and 642 days revolve around the star. The values of the minimum masses of the detected planets are 1 whole 7 tenths, 1 whole 8 tenths, 3 whole 9 tenths and 3 whole 9 Earth masses, respectively. The nearest planets, designated as G and H, are of little interest to us, since it orbits too close to its star. But the planets I and F are quite close to the habitable zone. The habitable zone, of course, is a conditional concept. The climate on the planet strongly depends on its atmosphere. The planet receives about the same amount of heat as Venus, which may have been suitable for habitation until the greenhouse catastrophe occurred. In turn, the planet's F as much as Mars, which was probably habitable until it lost almost the entire atmosphere. Planet F is most likely to be suitable for life. Such a heavy planet should have a thick enough atmosphere that can make it more hospitable than early Mars, which once had rivers flowing into the seas. But Tau Ceti has aggravating circumstances, although not standing fatal, like red dwarfs. Measurements made by the ALMA submillimeter interferometer showed that there is quite a lot of dust around the star. The field belt stretched from 10 to 60 astronomical units. There is an order of magnitude more dust there than in the solar system, and the dust itself seems to be harmless, but where it is, there are steroids, which also turn out to be significantly more than ours. This is somewhat similar to the search for an opera, only more dense and suitable closer to the star. But here again, unknown circumstances are important. What is the entropy of the belt of that distant system? In other words, how dynamically relaxed it is, how elongated the orbits are, and what is the spread? Well, we'll find out. There is no time to wait, we are going on a long journey. So, 2139th year, day 1. The final point of arrival of our travelers has been selected. Tau Ceti F is a super-Earth with a confirmed radius twice that of Earth. Given the mass of the planet, the force of gravity is more than acceptable for humans. A dense atmosphere has also been confirmed, maintaining an optimal temperature for a variety of complex forms of life, including for humans. The field belt with steroids does not cross the orbit of the planet. Earth 2.0 has been found and today we are flying to it. The interstellar spacecraft, the Star Whale, has been assembled for several years in the orbit of artificial Earth satellites from separate modules delivered by heavy rockets, and we put them into high orbit with the help of a reusable orbital tug. For the convenience of the work and life of the builders in orbit, a heavy orbital station called the Family was created. And now the first colonists of the Earth begin to visit the Star Whale, built by the forces of all mankind. Their total number is 136 people, of which 68 men and 68 women are equally aged from 27 to 30 years. The entire trip to the Tau Ceti system will take 28 years or 10,000 days. For the convenience of the flight and so that people do not age much on a long journey, half of the crew is put into a state of hibernation and sleeps for 14 years, then to wake up and replace their colleagues who have been working on board the ship all this time. There is no return back to Earth. 
This is a one-way expedition, since its purpose is to establish a colony settlement on Daukita F, the seventh day of the flight. 68 crew members are already in special cryocapsules and are in a state of prolonged hibernation. Doctors check the condition of sleeping crew members, their vital signs. In order to reach the desired planet in a relatively short period of 28 years, various scientific and industrial associations have worked out in detail and built an ultra-large spacecraft capable of reaching the nearest stars, which are now taking our colonists further and further from Earth. This is a nuclear pulse ship, and braking on it is provided by a magnetic sail. The project is based on the ideas of a pulse thermonuclear engine, when using the detonation of small nuclear charges and the reflection of reaction products by a powerful magnetic field of high power, due to which there is a reactive force pushing the ship forward. A giant superconducting ring is placed in the aft part of the spaceship, which creates a magnetic mirror of the required configuration. In its focus, a continuous detonation of a thermonuclear charge of sufficient power is carried out every 0.2 seconds. The resulting high temperature plasma and light radiation is reflected by a magnetic mirror and discarded as a jet stream. According to the project, the star whale should accelerate to a maximum speed of 150,000 km per second in three and a half years, which corresponds to half the speed of light. Day 35. Engineers, doctors and specialists in such fields as artificial intelligence, genetic engineering, psychology and many others on Earth have completed a basic course on the structure and functioning of all parts of the spacecraft, since in a critical situation any crew member should be able to cope with this or that problem, as well as understand how to eliminate it. At the moment, a scheduled check of the ship's power supply is taking place, which performs four nuclear reactors with long estimated service lives in flight. A supply of fissile material is stored on board the spaceship, which should be enough on average for a hundred years of flight. 320,000 nuclear charges for the propulsion system are placed on the ship's structure in eight special containers, each of which is equipped with a cooling system and a so-called revolver feed system. After the acceleration is completed, the containers will be fired back. The ship is also supposed to be protected from the residual radiation of nuclear engines and interstellar radiation and dust, which weighs about 800 tons. 245th day of flight. The crew corrects the whale's course. In order to enter Saturn's orbit for the first gravitational maneuver. And after a few days, the sleepless colonists were very lucky. They can personally admire the beautiful winged gas giant. Saturn's maneuver has been completed successfully, and the ship is gaining even more speed in outer space, leaving behind a fading star named the Sun, to one day see and settle next to the same one, but already too far away to return. 653rd day of flight. The star whale has been on full self-sufficiency since the first day of its flight, since there are no opportunities to replenish consumables. Closed regenerative biotechnical life support systems based on physicochemical processes provide normal conditions for the stay of our colonists. Periodically, crew members carry out checks of oxygen supply systems, water supply, cleaning of the atmosphere, adjusting its temperature, humidity, and much more. In such a closed life support system, waste transformation is used with the help of aerobic microorganisms, biofilters and aerotanks in order to obtain nutrient solutions for photoreactors with algae and higher plants in greenhouses. In several modules on the ship, astronauts develop and maintain plant greenhouses that provide oxygen and food in the form of greens and vegetables. The closed ecological system functions as follows. In the system, the pump mixes the water coming from the water collector with waste products. This mixture will be crushed in a mill. Next, oxygen is injected into the mixture, and it passes through a filter made of mahogany bark fibers, in which bacteria and protozoa absorb part of the nutrients contained in it. Next, the mixture enters the aquarium with fish, 
eating harmful microorganisms in this ecological system. Passing through the membrane diffuser, the mixture is cleaned of toxic impurities and carbon dioxide and separated from water vapor. The main part of the water returns to the pump in the described cycle. The smaller part, containing inorganic and nutrients with a high concentration, periodically enters the greenhouse. Plants in the greenhouse absorb carbon dioxide and release oxygen, which returns to the cabin. 1216th day of flight, the colonists on the whale are heading for Neptune in order to accelerate to maximum speed with the help of another gravitational maneuver. Through the portholes, the crew members observe the last planet of their natal abode of the solar system. During the entire flight, photos and videos are taken to collect data as personal archives, as well as to transfer them to the ground. The spacecraft is equipped with everything necessary not only for work, but also for recreation and leisure activities in free time. Psychologists lead separate groups of people to maintain a healthy emotional environment on board. 1300th day of flight. The necessary speed gained for interstellar flight and our star whale is rapidly sailing in the cosmic ocean, inexorably shortening thousands of kilometers. Meanwhile, the colonists continue to live and work as before. Several couples are already waiting for replenishment. They are more likely than everyone else to undergo medical preventive examinations to monitor their health. There are also sports complexes on board to maintain physical health. Despite the fact that the ship is equipped with artificial gravity systems. 1543rd day of flight. The first man in outer space was born. Mom and baby are feeling great which was immediately reported to Earth. The colonists do not feel a shortage of water and food. In modules designed for farming, plants and vegetables are successfully continued to be grown with the help of aqua and hydroponics, since with the increase in the number of crew members, the need for them increases. 3857th day of flight. There is a wonderful library on board the whale into the servers of which a huge amount of very different literature has been uploaded. Several crew members are currently resting, reading great classics. Someone may be immersed in a computer simulation with a lot of games and applications. Some meditate in Tetris or have conversations with others, train pets and pet fish. In general, not bad at all. 4961st day of flight. The mission of the first colonists ends and they begin to take the sleeping crew members out of the ship. At first, they help the newly awakened to undergo a medical examination. They will get used to it better on board the ship and transmit all the necessary information on work. Children born on the ship are assigned to groups. They continue to study, gaining the necessary knowledge in various fields. In particular, knowledge about the earth, its history and cultural heritage is taught by a separate science. 6783rd day of flight. On board the spaceship, there are various 3D printers available for a wide variety of printing, ranging from food to the necessary parts and tools for routine repairs. Most of the flight control, course correction of the spacecraft is assigned to artificial intelligence. The Star Whale is sailing on full autopilot. The crew members only monitor the data and check the course coordinates. Artificial intelligence gives instructions for performing complex tasks or repairing parts of the ship, as it is able to quickly search and organize information. Artificial intelligence is also used for continuous monitoring and tracking of minimal changes in the health status of crew members. It also helps to take measures in time and avoid serious consequences. So any crew member will always get advice on how to prevent headaches or how to get rid of insomnia. Doctors, together with artificial intelligence, successfully conduct pregnancies and deliver babies. In addition to all this, artificial intelligence also has a social role to communicate with crew members during their long flight. That is why the developers have added a facial recognition function and a human element in the form of different emotions on the screen. This is how you can recognize sadness and help. 9269th day of flight. There are two years left until the arrival of Daokita in the system. 
preparation begins for the start of breaking. A magnetic sail will be used to create resistance to the interstellar plasma medium. Everything worked out. The crew rejoices. 9970th day of flight. A month before Dao Kita F enters orbit, the sleeping crew members are brought out of the state of cybernation. During sleep, the aging processes were slowed down as much as possible, so their age at the time of arrival does not exceed 44 years. Children born earlier are on average 20 23 years old, and the age of those born later is from 8 to 13 years. But this is not a complete composition of people for colonization. Hundreds of small frozen human embryos have been sleeping on board the Star Whale all this time, which will receive life upon the successful completion of the mission and the construction of the first colony on a new planet. We reach Daukita in 10,000 days. The ship enters the orbit of a distant planet. There are no tracking signals yet. Surprisingly, the data is confirmed. Water, carbon dioxide, methane, oxygen, and ozone were detected. And all this on the only planet in the Tau Ceti system suitable for life. Just like Earth. Perhaps the new planet is inhabited by intelligent beings, organisms that absolutely look different. Meanwhile, automatic probes are descending to the planet to explore territories, take samples, as well as robots that begin building the first homes for settlers. After a time on the descent vehicle, the first group of people heads to a new home. Inhaling deeply the air favorable for breathing, rejoicing in the warmth of the new sun and touching the yet unknown, new, but very pleasant to the touch vegetation. The colonists rejoice and congratulate each other. The long flight really brought together a variety of people and made them the first interstellar family. A wonderful ending. But the truth is that things may end differently.